I was going to ask you um, about um, Mars Blackman and the incredible influence that that character has had on the market <laughs> for, what, over 20 years? 88. Well, a lot of people think I made She's Gonna Have It right after film school. Right. I finished NYU 82. Wow. We didn't shoot She's, she's Gonna Have It till summer 85. Wow. So for three years, I was struggling trying to get my first feature made. Mm -hmm. I was pen to paper, writing letters, no email, pen to paper, writing postcards, licking stamps. <laughs> Who does that now? Right. Licking envelopes to get the money. Right. So we had very little money. We raised the money in stages. Eventually, the budget was $175,000, so she's going to have it. Went on to make $8.5 million at the box office. But I can't. Wait, 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 wait. You shot that for under $200,000? Yeah, two six day weeks in the summer of 85. So, we didn't have any money. To, I mean, I had to pay other actors, but we didn't have any. I didn't have money to, to, to somebody to play Mars, so I played it myself. And I asked my grandma, I said, Grandma, we call her Mama. I, I need a name for a character. So what kind of character? So he's kind of crazy. She said, oh, well, I had a crazy uncle named Mars. Boom, that's where the name came from. And so at the time, Michael Jordan's taking over. Right. And everybody's wearing Jordans. That's right. And Mars likes basketball. That's right. So it's a natural connection for Mars' favorite player even though he wasn't on the Knicks, his player would still be Jordan. So Mars wears Jordans. Mars is a b-boy, got the casals. Yes. Mars got the nameplate. Mars is wearing the shorts, has skinny, still have skinny legs. So two ad guys for Wyden & Kenny, Wyden & Kenny is Nike's agency. Mm -hmm. They see she's gonna have in Portland, Oregon. They call me up, track me down, we want you to direct commercials in black and white, starring Mars Blackman, you direct yourself, and Michael Jordan. But there's one catch. We haven't spoken to Michael yet. Michael not seen she's gonna have, you know, who the fuck I was. So here's key, here's the key thing. Michael could have easily said, I don't know this motherfucker. He's never directed a TV commercial before. These are my first Nikes really getting behind me. I can't fuck this up. But Michael gives a young, unknown black kid from Brooklyn a chance to direct his commercials. He could have gone to the biggest commercial directors on Madison Avenue. I've never asked him this, but for some reason said, well, you Spike. And the rest is history. Wow.